Welcome to Vet Ranch, I'm Dr. Matt, and this little kitten just came to us. His name is Diesel, and you can see that he is very, very swollen. He's still pretty happy. He's purring and he's kneading and everything just like a normal kitten does. He was just found by a, um, by a good Samaritan, picked him up off the street, and so we don't really know what happened to him. You know, we've speculated he got bit by a dog or a cat or possibly hit by a car or maybe just jumped off of something high, but very, very swollen, and we don't really know why. He's also drooling down here. Um, so basically, I'm gonna anesthetize him and uh, kind of get a better look, make sure his jaw's not broken, and see if he has any pockets of pus, like an abscess somewhere on his head. But, I don't know if y'all can hear this, but he is purring right now. He's a happy little guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and anesthetize him and try to figure it out. Kitty's under anesthesia now, and we have found the problem. Watch this bottom jaw. These are the two canine teeth here, and watch how they can move up and down. That bottom jaw is broken right there. That's the symphysis where the two mandibles come together. It's just totally fractured. And there's a bunch of pus in here. I assume some bacteria got up under that jaw. It looks like there might be a fracture there. Um, but anyway, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna take an x-ray, make sure there's nothing else going on, but we're gonna have to wire these mandibles together. We put a little wire down here, holds them together, and the cats usually heal up pretty quickly with that. So uh, we'll go ahead and take an x-ray real quick. We just x-rayed him and there were no other fractures besides that mandibular symphysis right here in the front. Um, so I'm trying now to figure out why there's all this pus in his mouth. All this stuff, it's pretty gross. And it may just be because he has a little cut in there from the fracture. Just making sure there's nothing else weird going on. His mouth is so tiny. Yeah, that would be good. Looks like that's really dark. Look. Just got all this pus out and that little tooth right there. Um, and it looks like the only problem is there's a, a bunch of ulcers in the mouth and uh, pus coming out of them. But I think with some antibiotics that should heal up pretty quickly. Here's that jaw. Let me show you how it's broken. You can see right up in there. Totally cracked right there. We're going to pass a wire around the bottom part of that, holding this together like that. And uh, we'll usually leave that wire in there for a few weeks and then pull it out and they usually do pretty well. We're going to pass this needle inside the lips, right under the mandible and around to the other side. So you can see the stainless steel wire comes in right here, goes under the mandible there and comes out, there's my needle coming out on the other side of the mandible there. So basically I'm going to pull that needle through, I'm going to wrap the wire around here and tie it off here and try to sink those jaws, those mandibles down together like they used to be. It's hard to see in this tiny mouth, but these jaws are, they still have a little movement, but they're much more solid than they were before. This wire, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this or not, it passes right over the bottom of the mouth there, comes around, and I tied it right here. It's twisted on, its, on itself right there. And I cut it and bent it in so it won't be poking the gums or anything. 
and uh, going to give this kitty some anti-inflammatory, some antibiotics, and we'll just kind of watch them over the next few weeks. Here's little kitty. It's been about four hours after surgery, and uh, today is normally my day off, but I got a call about this little kitty, so I came in. That's why I'm wearing Demolition Ranch shirt. I just went and filmed some videos for my other YouTube channel, but kitty seems to be doing really well. Um, let me open this thing. And uh, even is eating a little bit for us. So that jaw is totally split down here. Um, and we just put a big wire in there four hours ago and little kitty's already chomping down on food. So that's a very good sign. I think this little kitty's going to make it. And uh, we'll watch him for a few more days and then we will send him home um, to stay. The people who actually found him are going to keep him. And, you know, that's what's really cool about Vet Ranch is, is these people, you know, in a normal case without Vet Ranch, they would have been faced with probably close to a $1,000 veterinary bill to get it in and we took x-rays and then we did that surgery and uh, we're going to have to anesthetize it again to pull that wire out. And, you know, a lot of people when they find a kitten the first day, they're not ready for a $1,000 vet bill and, and those little kittens end up just being euthanized unless someone else is willing to take um, take that on and, and pay that bill. So pretty cool thing we're doing. This this cat has a second chance because of you guys donating money for this vet ranch project. He's a good little kitty. He's just purring right now too. His little motor's going. Anyway, in a few days we'll check back. I'm hoping all this swelling and everything is just bruising from whatever happened to him. And uh, we have him on some good uh, pain meds and anti-inflammatories and also antibiotics. So hopefully in a few days over the weekend this swelling will all go down and he'll look kind of like a normal cat. It's been about three days since surgery on that jaw and uh, Kitty's feeling pretty good. We're going to go ahead and send him home with uh, the people who are going to be taking him. The, the people who found him are going to end up taking him and keeping him. So we're going to go ahead and send him home with them for several weeks, probably three or four weeks, and uh, they'll bring him back and we'll pull that wire out of his jaw. Um, and then uh, he should be all healed up. You can see he looks much better. His head is a lot less swollen than it was and he's purring right now and feeling pretty good. So we expect him to make a full recovery but we'll check back with him in a few weeks. Alright here's little Diesel. It's been about two weeks and look how much better his face looks. All the swelling has gone down. He's a normal little kitten now. He still has that wire in his jaw. We're gonna leave it in probably for another two weeks and uh, then pull it out. But He's doing good eating well at home and acting like a normal little kitten so we're happy to see that. Diesel is back. I just now pulled the uh, the wire out of his mouth. You can see a little bloody spot where I did that, but his teeth are a little crooked. Um, looks like he's broken off that canine over there too, but, but the symphysis is solid now. No movement at all. Here's Diesel awake and uh, feeling great. He's 100% healed up from everything um, and he should be a totally normal cat the rest of his life. So. Very cool that we got to use Vet Ranch donations from all of our viewers to fix this little kitty who otherwise probably wouldn't have had a chance and would have just been <laughs> would have just been euthanized because he had such severe damage and um, no owners to pay for him. But anyway, he's doing great now. <laughs> Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough And you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong But I know what you're going through I know cause I've been there too I don't walk right and I don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong But I wanna be there for you honey Working my job and making money but I wanna be cool for you, baby And I, I'm just a fool 